Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Cancellations. Flight cancellations. Um, I guess you've been affected by the cancellation from WestJet uh, due to the strike. And I'm also one of them. So I'm just showing you my experience with the whole cancellation process. That uh, For me, it happened uh, Sunday, June 30th. I found out in the morning that my flight was canceled. Okay. Kind of suspected it might be, and it was. And then... So I went on to the WestJet website uh, trying to figure out how to, what to do. So the first thing I want to say is they should have a, when you log in, they should really walk you through the process. You shouldn't be scrambling from 10 other websites, YouTube, CNN News or something like that. They should have a little flow chart that, you know, just pops up and say, you know, has your, if, your, you know if the flight's been canceled, it should just say, click here and you know, and just walk you through what to do, right? And maybe your benefits, what kind of benefits you, you get. I think that should also be mandatory. I think the government should regulate that a little bit. And so, you know, you're not left scrambling trying to get a lawyer or who knows what to figure out what, you know, rights and titles you're, you know, you're entitled to, right? So anyway, um, and I, you know, I know problems happen and everything, but one thing, I guess my overall experience is the communication hasn't been good. Um, I did get a text saying my flight was canceled, and you know, they have 48 hours. Now, that's by law to find you another flight now. Um, so, I don't know. Um, they haven't really been, they didn't say how they're going to advise me or, you know, how I'm going to, I can't contact them because I tried to call some of their um, phone numbers. Uh, it was on this page here. Contact us. There's a bunch of uh, <clears throat> Let's see, there's some phone numbers here, yeah. I tried some of these, and uh, there's another one I found, uh, another phone number I found that I, I used, and it doesn't matter what phone number I used, it's just, I guess they're they're overloaded, um, and so they're saying, you know, that basically you got to go to the website, there's some kind of self-serve page, and that didn't work either, that just wasn't a solution, it just didn't get me to what I needed to information I needed to have. I mean, I would have, if that would have worked, that would have been fine. That self-serve page should, should basically say, okay, you want to, you know, we, you want to try another flight and give you a list of flights and then you click on it and say, oh, yes, I agree to this flight or that flight. That would have been okay. But there's nothing like that. It actually just got to a certain step in the process. And then I was clicking a button and it doesn't go anywhere. It just kind of, okay, it's a dead end. So, uh, so that wasn't done well. Um, what they should do is also and this would alleviate, alleviate a lot of pressure on their side, is they should, you know, when you go to their website, they should say, oh, we're going to update you every two hours, or every four hours, or every six. So you're not scrambling, and then they should, you should be able to select the, the method that you want updates, either through email, through text messages, or through whatever other apps you might have, right? Um, because you shouldn't be scam wasting your whole time trying to figure out how to contact them. They should be giving you regular updates, you know, maybe when you log into your account and maybe regular customized log uh, updates or, or at least generic updates that they, they're still working on everything and that you're going to be notified when something happens and that they can give you, you know, options for what flights. But it's, it's sort of left like you're just chasing the wind, not being able to contact them. It's kind of like more or less, uh, we'll call you, don't call us. Don't call us, we'll call you. So it's, it, that's frustrating. Um, so I think they could be a lot better that way. Um, so that's my big beef with them right now at this point. It's just, you know, lack of communication for a big company like this to uh, just kind of leave you hanging. Now, they did have a chat box. I don't even know where to find it now. Maybe they've taken it down. But basically, the same thing happens on the chat box is that, you know, we're overloaded with millions and billions of chats. So, you know, basically try again or basically, uh, you know, you can't do anything. Because even I tried it you know, like two in the morning, three in the morning, doesn't matter what time. I, I have a feeling that no one is able to use the chat box. So I think they just don't want to go that way because there's just too many people probably trying to contact them. And so that could be more clear too, that we're just not taking phone calls. We're just not taking chats at this time. That's fine. But we need regular updates. And, you know, we know problems happen, but there's no, there's not this regular flow of communication. So anyway, if there's anyone that's watching this video, uh, that's had success or, or maybe they're, they can let me know what I should do. Uh, please uh, comment in the comments below 
But uh, that's my experience. Uh, I imagine many other people have had a similar experience because there's just not a, there's not a, like a, something on their site just saying, this is what you should do and walk you through it. Like, you know, because it's a big company, they should be able to do that. Anyway, I want to say thanks for watching. Have a great day and feel free to comment in the video below if you have any tips for anyone else there on what we can do or if there's any, you know, benefits. I'm not sure if there's any benefits for us due to this cancellation other than them getting a flight within 48 hours from us. Um, but one one uh, newscast, I'm uh, not sure which station it was, uh, the advice was to wait the 48 hours and then if you don't have a flight, then book your own flight and you know, have uh, contact WestJet to pick up the, <clears throat> the, the the amount you spent on your flight. And I guess he mentioned that, you know, if there's an issue, you can take it to small claims court, which would be a hassle, but, you know, that's an option, so you might want to consider. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.